So there's a new way to download maps from Google Maps. Oh my goodness, it is so easy. Now the add-on's called Blossom for Blender. There is the light version, which is this, which works fine. And there is the pro version, but that's more suited for open street map. Once you've done all that jizz jazz, install, locate the file downloaded and install the add-on. Now I've got a map access token. That's for something else. And this is all grayed out because they're my keys. Get your own. But the Google 3D tiles key, you got to open up a Google Cloud account. And when you click get it, kind of go through the process of signing up. It is free for three months. Now I have been using it and I haven't been charged anything. So I don't know how the costing works within Google Cloud. Just lean up. I don't know. But anyway, once you've done that, and we should have the add-on here now. Okay. Now we need to find our coordinate set that we need to get. So I'm going to click select. That's going to open up a world page and let's find, I don't know where to go. Let's go. I don't know. Let's go to Zagreb in Croatia. Um, and we'll look at the main square. Is that the main square? That's the main square. Now what we need to do is come over to the left and go show rectangle. And this is the point that we're going to be focusing all our uh, export on. So we're going to grab that. Now it is going to export a little bit more, but that's fine. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Over to the left, we're going to click copy. Back into Blender, we're going to click paste. And we can see that this is all updated. Now the map type, we're obviously going to select Google 3D tiles and the level of details. Now let's talk about this for a sec. If I zoom out here, so this here is the whole city. And then as we kind of go down in quality, I mean, up in quality, you can see this here, it is looking schmick. This is building with more details. Now, this is a very small area and it took probably about 20, 30 minutes for it to come through. So I wouldn't be doing that in such a big area. Uh, so for instance, if I unhide some of these others that I was testing, so even kind of like this section here, I believe this was groups of buildings. This is starting to get to those bigger maps and it does take time. So just be aware for your computer to think for a while. Okay. So yeah, but anyway, I'm going to go into, mm -hmm. let's go separate buildings, go on, why not? And then I'm going to press import join 3d tiles objects. Yes. So I don't want separate tiles. So obviously if we have a look at this one, for instance, there's three tiles, one, two, three. And then what it will do is it'll export everything as an individual tile. I want it all as one tile, join 3D tiles, okay? So uh, I'm gonna press import and then I'm gonna stop the recording and I'll come back. It is 11.36 a.m. All right, so actually that took a minute, but let's just go scale that down, scale 0 0.01, just so it kind of matches everything else. Alt G to reset the location and let's just move it out of the way. And we can kind of see how it's exported. Now from back here, it looks pretty good. But obviously as we get closer, we can see that the quality is, you know, optimized for how it works. Now, this is the only bit that we focused on here, but we ended up exporting all this. Now I will go to the next level. Oh, separate buildings. It is currently 1138. Let's go. What the heck? It only took like a minute. When I do Australia, it takes me like 15, 20 minutes. It sucks. Why <laughs> zero one? All right, there we go. So the quality is obviously getting better and better. Um, we can see the various differences in the church here and even the mesh. The mesh is obviously much nicer in this section. Oh, do I dare? Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, yeah, whatever, let's try it. That's a little bit more like it. It took about uh, 15 minutes for this one. Scale 0 0.01. And now this is probably the best quality that we are going to get from Google Maps. But you can see how quickly it is to export. No more render dock, no more Google Chrome, just boom.